Hello and welcome to Faith and Friends. I have my cup of tea. You didn't press news this morning. I didn't. Good job. The day is going well. Where's your tea? It's in my office, <laughs> along with my honey. These guys don't have any tea. I do the throat coat tea every so often. It's not green. We need to have a talk with Dr. Trudy to find out why the tea is good for you guys. We have nothing to say. Nope. Well, maybe you have your coffee, and it doesn't matter. This is a come as you are Faith and Friends show. <laughs> We're just happy to spend the next 30 minutes with you so we can enjoy this time that God has given us together. National Tea Appreciation Hour. There we go. We, we missed Hug a News Person Day, so we have to come up with something else. Last week was National Walking Day, so maybe you can walk in place as you watch Faith and Friends <laughs> as today's show introduces you to author Beverly Lewis, who made a recent stop in Lima. We'll tell you how you can see Guy Penrod in concert for free. There's a national organization, Young Life. Maybe you're aware of the local chapter. Well, today you'll meet some of the area teens who are impacted by this ministry. But first, let's get impacted by the Word of God. We're talking about perseverance, which is our 2016 Faith Challenge Focus trait this month. James chapter 1, verses 12 and 13. Blessed is the man who endures temptation. For what he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who approved. He will receive the crown of life. Love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. I think that's a really good thing to remember, that God is not the one placing temptations in our lives, but he certainly can guide us through the temptations in our lives. He can grow us in perseverance as we battle through those. Well, earlier in that chapter, James said, consider it pure joy when we face trials and tribulation. Consider it uh, fortunate when we have those trials and tribulations because when we go through those trials and tribulations, that is when we can build our perseverance. That's when we can rely on our faith in God more closely. When we can build our faith is through those trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. Good insight. Thank you, Mark. Well, recently, the UNOH Event Center was full for the Young Life Banquet. It's a fundraising event but it shares amazing stories of how God is working through this national organization locally here in Lima. Jennifer has more. Take a look at these stars. These are the stars of Lima's Young Life. Actually, these are the stars of Lima's Young Life. Young Life is a national program. It builds bridges. Relationship bridges designed to lead young adults to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. The national program was started in the 1930s. It came to Lima less than a decade ago with Billy Dre as the leader. After some transition, Young Life Lima got a new leader, Mitch Schonkweiler, and an energized passion to continue to be that bridge for high schoolers in this area. Young Life doesn't start with a program. It starts with adults who are concerned enough about kids to go to them, on their turf and in their culture, building bridges of authentic friendship. These relationships don't happen overnight. They take time, patience, trust, and consistency. That's a direct quote from the Young Life website. Sometimes it involves fun. A little skit. They'll do. What else? They do a skit and they do a scripture out the Bible and announcements, and then we end it off with a prayer, and then we'll like have time to play in the gym and stuff. I think it's pretty fun. Everybody should go. Other times, it involves mentorship. I've talked to you a lot. This is my dude, man. You got my dude, Craig. You know, you got Charity right there. You feel me? You got everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Homies, you know. You're like a family. But in the end, it's about Jesus. Uh, it is. It's like people feel accepted. It changes people's lives. No. At the recent Young Life fundraising dinner, area individuals got to learn firsthand how this organization is truly building bridges. Those involved consider themselves missionaries. They're investing in the lives of teens at Lima Senior and Perry High Schools, and they don't just do it on the surface. The volunteers involved truly love what they're doing. They want to see the lives of these kids changed forever, and they invite you to join them. Find out more about Lima's Young Life and how you can also be involved by emailing limayounglife at gmail.com. Thank you, Jennifer. Well, it's time for some man talk now. I feel like Tim Allen. Tool time, time for some man talk. Something powerful, though, when men 
of God come together and commit themselves to living for Christ. Of course, we think it's important for couples to do this as well. Church small groups are great. Relationships in general are important when it comes to standing firm in Christ's promises. Also something special about women gathering together to encourage one another. We see lots of women's conferences. Same goes for men. Coming up later this month, Lima Baptist Temple is hosting a man-to-man prime rib dinner featuring well-known author and speaker Dennis Swanberg. Pastor L. Al Elmore from Lima Baptist Temple joins us now to talk about the event. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. How excited are you for this prime rib dinner, <laughs> men getting together, we're giving away a gun, Buckeye tickets, this is going to be great. Well, you know, men just eating, that's good enough, you <laughs> that's know, right. prime rib. But about a year ago, we did our first one, and uh, went really well. Had about 125 men, just starting up the men's group. This year, we look to have at least a couple hundred. Okay. So, very excited. Man Code is the book that Dennis Swanberg wrote. You guys are going through right. a weekly Bible study that people can still be right. a part of leading up to right. the event. Just tell us about that book and what okay. Dennis brings. Uh, Man Code, if you were to take a combination lock and look at it, there's a combination. There's a code. That's what we want. And if people come to understand, especially men, what the Man Code really is, they can really become a catalyst for reaching other men for Christ. Yeah. So basically what you have here in this code is it starts off with one. We have to have the relationship with the one, yeah. which is most important. Sure. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. And as that goes, you'll see that the next number is three. We need three good, loving, trustworthy men in our lives. You know, women don't have that problem getting a bunch of friends, but men, it's hard for them to kind of open up and talk. Sure. But the three, the three are very important. These are people who, when you, if you die, you don't go around and say, well, let me tell you something I knew. But I couldn't tell you this until he died. No, I'm talking about will keep it to themselves, keep their mouth shut. Right. Confidentiality. People who will ask you the hard questions. That's the three. And then you go into the 12. Everybody needs a pile of friends. Say a dozen friends, 12. And so these are people you may want to go to the football game with. You all want to get together and go camping, but a group of about 12. Mm -hmm. And then it goes to 120. 120, 120. In other words, that's kind of like a church. Okay. You used to call it a small group, but really it's a church. And a lot of your churches on average are, are like 100, 120. Sure. So it's very important to get involved in a church. But you see how it progresses. Mm -hmm. It starts with the 1, the 3, the 12, and the 120. And then the next number is 3,000. That's a community. And that's what we're trying to do is reach out to the community. So everybody needs a community that they can reach out to and impact. Folks that maybe never went to church or, you know, that community aspect, they hear prime rib, yep. they hear men will be there, they hear some great prizes. We mentioned the 12-gauge shotgun, a yes. trigger grill, Ohio State football tickets. Yes. They might be a little hesitant. Oh, mm -hmm. you're talking about, you know, we got we to gotta talk. I don't no. know if I like <laughs> this. Why would they feel welcome right away, you think? Well, right away, number one is uh, we don't ask for anything. Everybody always wants to know, <laughs> all right, what are you asking for? That's what right. do you want? There's none of that. Yeah. Uh, Dennis Swanberg is not just an author. And, and a great speaker, he is a Christian humorist. Okay. He is a comedian. Okay. And it's just fun guy to be around. It's just worth hearing him, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, the gifts are good. We always want to be able to give gifts, you know, that's right. and that's kind of the hook that gets the people to come in and get a gift. But uh, it's just a great event, men laughing, and that's what it's going to be about. He is the minister of encouragement. Yeah. And men today, we need encouragement. We, we can't get enough of it. Yeah. I love the slogan for man to man, real men, real issues, real faith. Yep. Men can encounter God, and they yes. can do it together in this atmosphere, which doesn't happen a whole lot. That's right, and those, that is our theme. Real men, real issues, real faith, because that's what it is today. Mm -hmm. And you need other men. You know, I tell a lot of people, I don't have cancer. I'm sure you uh, know people who do. Sure. Could have been somebody in your own family. Right. But if I get cancer, I want to talk to someone who has had cancer and been there. It's the same thing with men. We deal with the same issues. Right. But if I, somebody's dealing with the same issue as me, I want to talk to that person. Yeah. So that's what we want. We want people to feel like they can get together and talk about these issues with real faith, with real men. Very exciting events coming Saturday, April 23rd, 5 p.m. There you see the details. You can call for tickets, $10 for the prime rib dinner, chance at all kinds of door prizes as well. If you get a table of six, it's $50, so a little bit of, uh, of a, a benefit for that. So we want you to sign up soon so they can account for that, have enough prime rib That's to go right. around for everybody. There'll be plenty. <laughs> all right, well, thanks for joining us, all right. Pastor L. Elmore. Thank uh, you. Mark Kuntz now has more. Well, thank you, Andy. Undoubtedly, she's one of the most popular Christian fiction authors of today. 
Beverly Lewis stopped at Gifts of Joy in Lima earlier this month to promote her newest book, The Atonement. Just like many of her other books, Lewis's upbringing in the heart of Lancaster, Pennsylvania and Amish country has given her a love for including the Amish lifestyle in her writing. I grew up around Amish um, people right across the um, lane from us when I was a kid in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And um, my maternal grandmother was Old Mennonite, which is horse and buggy Mennonite. And they're very, very similar in practice to the Amish people. Um, such things as courting rituals, do's and don'ts, uh, that sort of thing. Um, uh, also, their shunning practices were very similar to the Amish, the Old Order Amish. And so even as a young girl, when I was writing my stories as a little girl, um, I was thinking about the Amish, my friends who were Amish, um, and also the, the people that my father who was a minister, he knew, he was Assembly of God pastor. And he had lots and lots of Amish couples, especially young couples, asking him questions about the New Testament because the word got out that he was a, a student of the Greek New Testament. He could understand the root words the Greek, what was Jesus really saying? What does this word really mean? And so they would invite my father and mother and my sister and me over for dinner. I'm excited about The Atonement. Um, it's a book that I've been thinking about writing for a number of years and has a lot of interesting Amish elements that I don't think my readers have ever discovered before, at least from me. Lewis's stop in Lima was one of 25 stops during her recent Ohio book tour. Pick up your copy of The Atonement at Gifts of Joy Bookstore in Lima. Next up, Guy Penrod, Billy Graham, and My Stroke of Luck. Jennifer is with a special guest who has testimony of how a physical condition opened the door for God to make this man's life complete. Well, thank you, Mark. Do you ever have times in your life where a situation takes place that appears to be negative, and then you can look back and you realize how God was using it for His glory? Well, that is part of the testimony of Steve Coyle, who joins us now on Faith and Friends. Back in 2001, Steve, you had what you now call your stroke of luck. Why don't you tell us about yes. that? Well, I read an article about, uh, about a movie star that had a, a stroke, and he called his my stroke of luck also. Well, the way I have it figured is that's what, the, that's what life is all about. And if I were to look on about my arm and, and leg not working, think how miserable life could be. Mm -hmm. uh, I say never look at what you have lost, always look at what you have left. Ah. You know, I still have one good arm and one good leg, and life is great. <laughs> How has Jesus changed your life since you had this stroke back in 2001? Oh, it's, it turned my life around completely. I've always been a Christian, uh, and I thank my mother and father for raising me up in the church and taking me to Sunday school and, and church, and and, uh, and uh, so now you had the, you had the stroke, but now you're realizing what Jesus can do in your life. Uh, most definitely, yeah. He has, he has opened up doors that I never dreamed of. So let's talk about this crusade that's coming up. It is April 24th, 3 p.m. Guy Penrod is coming to sing for free. Yeah. You're going to show the Billy Graham Association movie, Heaven, and you're going to share your own testimony, which is connected to your association, My Stroke of Luck Association. Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, uh, like you say, I, I just been following the Lord and it might be two, three o'clock in the morning. He will, he will put ideas in my head and I will get up and the words just flow. Mm. 
And uh, as far as as far as my stroke of luck, uh, negative thinking is not healthy. Mm. So if you're going to be around for 20, 30, 40 more years, you might just <laughs> as well make the best of it. That's this event is almost a sellout, which it's a free concert, but it's almost a sellout. Yes, yes. I'm uh, really excited about it. Uh, when I was down to Billy Graham's uh, office, I asked the uh, national directors, uh, how many come forward with Billy Graham? I said, when I see a concert in Shea Stadium mm -hmm. and I see all those it, people down on the infield, I figured that Billy w would, w would, w would, would, uh, w w I, I figured that Billy would, uh, would, uh, tell Jesus or, or tell the people about Jesus and have them accept Jesus into their lives. But they said, no, we only have about three to five percent that come down. So if I have three percent, that'd be great. But if I only have one person to come down and meet Jesus mm -hmm. and accept Jesus as their savior, it would be all well worth mm -hmm. it. A party in heaven for just one sinner who repents and comes to Christ. Well, we unfortunately are out of time with our interview, but we at TV 44 look forward to joining Steve coming up on April 24th at the Nicewanger Performing Arts Center that's when the free Guy Penrod concert is taking place. Also, the film Heaven will be shown, which is from the Billy Graham Association. And you can hear Steve Coyle talk about his stroke of luck all the way back in 2001 and how God has blessed him incredibly through this situation. Like you said, you've got one bad leg and one good leg, one bad arm and one good arm. You're focusing on the positive because God is doing some amazing things for you. If Jesus can make my life complete after having a stroke, just think what he can do for everybody. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you, Jennifer. April 24th, contact the Nicewanger Performing Arts Center or call us here at TV44 for more information. If you could count the times that say you are forgiven, it's more than the drops in the ocean. Well, our health topic today is the breasts. Yes, both men and women have them, of course, but women need to pay probably most attention to them since breast cancer is definitely an issue that affects so many people. Dr. Trudy Pieper is joining us to talk about keeping breasts healthy, preventive, proactive things that can be done to help us prevent some things down the road. Absolutely, and your point about breast cancer is so important here, Jennifer. It is the leading, leading cause of, of breast cancer for women is, for cancer mm. is breast cancer. So we, as women, really need to be thinking about, you know, how can we prevent breast cancer? The best way is making sure that we have our lymphatic system working well. And the lymph glands, um, there are more, there's more fluid in our lymph glands than any place else in mm. our body. And we tend not to think about that. And at, between each cell is a fluid and it's so the lymph is outside of the cells and it acts as a liaison between the cells and the blood. And the lymph manufactures the majority of our white blood cells which fight off all the invaders that come into our body. 
our viral and bacterial infections. And the lymph, it's really the, the transportation system for waste. Hmm. And it pulls the, the waste out of our body into the blood where it takes it to the liver, the kidneys, and the colon then to get rid of. So a healthy breast depends upon the cleansing action of our lymph system. Anybody who has had a cancer scare or who has dealt with breast cancer has definitely heard about the lymph nodes yes. or any sort of cancer. And my mother is a cancer survivor. And I remember we were praising God back those years ago, knowing that the cancer hadn't gotten into her lymph nodes. So here we have this lymph system that um, doesn't pump like a circulatory system, but yet needs to be, needs to be filtered and flushed through. Right, and since we don't have a, a pump like the heart and circulatory, the way we flush that out is the movement is when we move, our lymphs move. So for the best way for you to clean out your lymph system is you have to move your body. Now, a mini tramp is probably the absolute positively best mm. way. If you're, you're bouncing, mm -hmm. then that moves the lymph through. But there are other ways. Brisk walking four times a week for 20 minutes will create healthier breasts. Drinking plenty of water, six glasses a day will actually help you flush those toxins through your kidneys and get rid of them. Increasing your fiber to at least 20 grams a day will remove the waste through the colon. But interesting enough, you know, women are always thinking about their weight. Right. If you're doing 20 grams of fiber, you're also going to lose weight. So mm. there's another added benefit <laughs> to making sure you need fiber in your system. Broccoli, which is a cruciferous vegetable, has been found as the number one vegetable to prevent breast cancer. So adding some broccoli at least every week to Does your that diet. that mean broccoli with cheese sauce? Or should it just be uh, steamed broccoli it's or probably raw steam, broccoli? A steamed broccoli, raw broccoli, maybe with a little dip or a little butter on it. But yes, the, you need to keep it in its richest form so the nutrients are still there. And then finally, um, limiting your carbs. Uh, this is one that's really important. I see a lot uh, today with my patients. Um, particularly those with breast cancer, they ate a lot of carbs, mm -hmm. which includes sugar, and mm -hmm. sugar feeds cancer. So women who eat more carbs are twice as likely to get breast cancer wow. than those who do not. Wow. So cut back on your carbs, your pastas, your breads, um, anything that is a carbohydrate, <laughs> which is a complex carbohydrates, are, are just as bad as simple sugars to do that. And your final one on your list is your favorite. You Everybody hear about knows. it all the time. <laughs> green tea. <laughs> Three glasses of green tea a day will protect against estrogen dominant cancer in mm. your lymph system. That's important. I mean, we hear about green tea for so many important reasons, but that's a real poignant fact that it I would is. think would convince a lot of people, a lot of women, to drink green tea. And the green tea should be used with stevia, a little tiny bit of honey, but again, we want to make it so that you're not. Uh, adding carbs, sugar, mm. to your diet. So try to learn that without sugar in it. All right, so ladies, you heard it. More movement means healthier breasts. Maybe you do have a mini trampoline and you can do some jumping on that every day, but a lot of us don't have one of those. We've got a lot of other very good, easy things to do. Brisk walking, plenty of water, increased fiber, eat your broccoli, limit your carbs, and three glasses of green tea a day. Of course, if you ever have questions about this or want to learn more, you can contact Dr. Trudy Pieper at Phoenix Wellness Center in Johnstown, Ohio. You can look her up online as well at phoenixwellnessforyou.com and there you can see the phone number right on your screen. Dr. Trudy, thank you very much for this very important information. A lot of women out there could definitely use this. I appreciate it very much. My extreme pleasure. Thank you, Jennifer. Hear more from Dr. Trudy Pieper, and in fact, you can meet her in person as the author of Prevention is the Cure for Cancer, Five Easy Steps. It's coming to Lima for a book signing on Saturday, April the 30th. She will be at Gifts of Joy on Allentown Road in Lima from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Certainly encourage her, you to plan to visit Gifts of Joy on the last Saturday in April. Discover that Dr. Trudy is a very delightful and truly a wealth of knowledge when it comes to health-related topics. Very delightful. Definitely describe Trudy Pieper. Doesn't springtime very delightful? Well, some days. Some days it it's not quite as delightful when you hear the thunderstorms and the tree falling the snow, in your yard. The snow we've recently and the had. Snow. Well, snow can be delightful. It's picturesque. And snow can be very delightful in January. Not great. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are springing to life once again. We thank you so much as we are trying to be bright and vibrant here in HD on TV 44 and uh, have folks from Lima that have participated already as we work our way towards Mother's Day. Um, 
TV44. And I don't see addresses there. Go ahead. Spring to Life campaign continues through Mother's Day, like Andy just said. And we are so thankful for those of you who are joining in with us right now. And Mark, do you have, he has no addresses. We don't actually need two, actually. addresses. We're more concerned about People. givers. We're more thankful for that. We, we love where you live, but we love you more. Well, you know, we've got a comment here from Burn, Indiana. As we, you know, our, our signal reaches across the state line into Indiana and certainly are very thankful to our viewers throughout the TV44 viewing area. And they're, they're big fans of the Andy Griffith Show, so I'm mm -hmm. certain they are enjoying the countdown of the top 30 Andy Griffith Shows every Saturday morning here on TV44. Also, Miss Phyllis King, we thank you so much for being a part of our Spring to Life campaign, and Mr. and Mrs. Alvin Shoemaker, we are thankful for you. So thankful for all of you that have been giving to TV 3044 and if you've been thinking of it, giving to TV 44 and those have given for over 30 years now we're very delightful that you have continued to make us part of your life and now is a great time to become part of the team. No gift is too small nor too large. You can donate securely online at WTLW.com. You can also donate by mail or over the phone or you can donate in person. Consider signing up for automatic monthly withdrawal. It's a safe and reliable way to continue to partner with TV44 each and every month of the year. We had someone recently comment about the fact that it wasn't too long ago that we were in our fall campaign, just a few months ago, in fact. But actually, part of what we do is we always do two campaigns per year, a larger amount in the fall, smaller amount in the spring. We know that when the summer months come, many of you walk away from TV, you like to be outdoors, and to be honest, the giving drops off as well. So instead of doing one big huge campaign in the fall with a dollar amount that honestly is probably a little bit higher than is achievable, we break it up into two campaigns and we're just so thankful for the many of you who say, whenever it is, I'm there, I'm supporting you. Certainly are. Coming up next week on Faith and Friends, Dr. Alex McFarlane and Jason Alex. Jimenez Why present Viral right. Truth, we'll, we'll think about putting some 1776 into 2016. That show will take a look back at the government in the last 1700s in the 1700s and compares it to the government of today. Has anything changed? What do you think? Well, nothing has changed in the Bible, and that is for sure. We leave you now with our verse of the week, James 1, 12, and 13. Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt he himself tempt anyone. Perseverance, that's the trait for this month. Be walking in perseverance this week.